Hi. So I've finally gotten to the point where the slow poke is essentially finished. It's been a lot of time covering the fuselage, but I'm very happy with it. Uh, particularly the turtle deck just behind the cockpit there. Quite tricky, but a bit of patience, a bit of time, got it done. Uh, it all went together very, very well. I've put some extra flashings just on the tail feathers here. Just some go faster stripes leading from the nose. The engine's all in. I still need to run that in, make sure that everything's working properly. Um, some people tend to do this on a test bench. I tend to just do it within the model. I've, uh, I fairly trust these little engines. They're fairly reliable. So I will be doing that in the model once I'm, I'm happy to take it outside and fill it up with fuel. But one of my next tasks now is to balance it. And according to the manual that came with the plans, the way that you balance it is by actually turning it upside down and setting your balance marks on a piece of tape on either side of the fuselage on the wings and setting it up so that it is horizontal when it's at the balance points. So I'm gonna mark that up and then I'm gonna show you a little jig that I've put together in order to do that. So this is the balance jig that I've put together from scrap wood I've had lying around the house. It has two feet, two uprights, which are held on using these corner blocks screwed in position. And at the very top, I have these wooden pegs, which I had left over from some flat pack furniture, the ideal for the job. So one check is always to make sure that the height of this peg above the surface is the same as the height of this peg above the surface. I also have a cross base at the bottom to hold these two in position such that the fuselage can be slotted down in between the two and the wing balanced. So I'll go do that now. I've marked the CG range on the model and I'm going to put those wooden pegs smack bang in the middle of those lines there. So that's the model on the jig and as you can see it's not true to the horizontal the the tail needs to be weighed down ever so slightly what i use for that are these they're five and ten gram weights made of iron and they have a peelable backing on them so they can be stuck directly onto the model so i will give that a little go by starting with the five gram right at the tail here It has helped, but it's still not horizontal, so I'm going to try a 10 gram weight. Ah, now, yeah. much, much better. Now we're in more of a horizontal attitude. All right, I'll try another 5 grams on that, see where that takes us. Hasn't had much of an effect. I'll move it further out. Right, I think we're pretty much there. 15 grams right on the tail so just here so what I'll do now I will peel off the backing stick them on and then we've got our CUG found I still need to do the side to side balancing the lateral balancing of that as well uh, so I'll pick it up 
by the nose cone, pick it up by the tail fin, probably with a bit of help, and just see if one of the wings dip uh, more than the other. If it does, then I'll, I'll do a similar thing and just, just add uh, a weight or two somewhere along the tip of the wing in order to get that balanced. So there we go, next thing, engine running in, and then first flight. See you soon.